Hi, this is going to be a practice task on index match match, something that is quite often used for reverse lookup. Before we begin with the exercise, just a quick recap with the methodology that we were trying to apply index match match. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. In index, the first parameter of the formula asks for array selection, which we had referred by the term chessboard, mini chessboard. The second two parameters talks about coordinates, row number first followed by column number. Row number will be calculated vertically, one, two, three, top to bottom, and column number will be calculated horizontally or sideways, that is one, two, three. Now the data structure would look like this. This will be the full chessboard. The first match will focus on one column, either this or this or this, basically any one column where the common link is present. And the second match will focus on horizontal or sideways movement. Now, keeping that in mind, let's look at this particular task. The table on the left, we have table of employee IDs. That's here. The names are on the left hand side of the ID codes and gender age followed on the right hand side. Now looking at the ID codes, I want us to fetch the name. This could not have been done using VLOOKUP unless of course you choose to cut this particular column and place it in the first column of the table array. But assuming we are not able to do so, we will stick to index match match. So equal to index, the first parameter array, which refers to chessboard. Let me choose the entire chessboard. This is our terminology in the discussion. Now, after having chosen the array, I'm going to press F4 to fix it, comma. Now I need two coordinates, one for row, one for column number. So I'm going to dedicate two match formulas, one after another. Now, reserving a seat for each of the two match formula helps me avoid the syntax errors later point in time. Let me now focus on the first match. The first match is going to look for an array which is lying vertically top to bottom and that is the ID code column. Within which what is the common link? That's the ID code. So match please look for 8736. Comma. Next will be lookup array which means junior follow senior the same principle which we had referred to in our earlier videos. That is it should not start from before the start of the table array selection of the index or later. It will start from the boundaries of the array selection. Now, making sure it is fixed to comma zero to make sure it is an exact match that the match formula is trying to look for. Next match formula, look for any term that you are able to find in the header. So basically, you cannot look for 8736 because 8736 cannot be found in the header. What can be found is the word name. Now I'll have to fix this so that I don't want this to move down as I copy paste the formula. So I'm going to fix this comma. Next will be choosing the lookup array, which this time is going to refer to a sideways movement. So the same concept applied junior follow senior, not starting before, not starting later and choosing from mobile number till the last cell value age. I'm going to fix that to F4 comma zero. Let me test whether the formula works. Enter. Perfect. If you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks, why don't you check out our entire library? Use the link in the description below. In fact, let me copy paste and see whether it works for the remaining two. Oh yes, it does. In fact, when I change the header to let's say gender, I get the gender as an answer. Age. There you go. Mobile number. Definitely correct. Now, just an add on to this exercise, assume that uh, if I press Control R at this instance, it quickly copies pastes the cell on the right. And if I choose name, I would want the formula which we wrote is equally applicable as I copy paste it right and down. But it doesn't. Let's just discuss why. When I double click on the NA, the first few things that I will notice on the screen is the colored borders. The blue colored border, which is right now highlighted, indicates the area of the chessboard or index. The purple one is indicating the first match lookup array and the pink one is indicating the lookup array of the second match. Now what we also notice is these two lookup values, 
the first one actually has traveled from this cell to the next one since it was not fixed on the other hand this particular cell mobile number was fixed hence it is not able to move to the next cell so we need to rectify two things one we go back to the main formula first things first this c4 i need to ensure that it remains in column c but at the same time it should be able to move to 5 and 6 so i put my cursor around c4 i keep on pressing f4 until i get dollar c followed by 4 no dollars before 4 this ensures that column c remains in column c next d3 i want to ensure that when i copy paste the formula towards right hand side this d3 should be able to jump to e3 Hence, for that to happen, I need to remove the dollar before D. So I have 4. There you go. Now you might ask me, why am I putting the dollar before 3? Because I don't want that the maths lookup value, which is currently pointing to the value in the cell of third row, should be able to move down to fourth or fifth or sixth. So be very careful. This is dollar C4 and this is D dollar 3. Now let me just select the cell all the array where I need to copy paste the formula I'll press ctrl D ctrl R mm -hmm. now we get the perfect answer and this was index match match for reverse lookup